Two ambulance rides, two very different prices, and the family stuck with the bills wants to know why one ride costs thousands more than the other. Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal with the price gap and how to avoid those big bills. When we shop, we compare prices, food, clothes, cars, but when it comes to health services, we often only find out the price after the fact. Life can change in an instant. I asked him what happened. He said, I see a black cloud. Last December, Yarnin and Ruth Gal were out to eat when Yarnin had a stroke. I started to panic a little bit and I was asking, please call 911 for me. A Washington Township Avon Fire Department ambulance took them to IU Health Methodist Hospital. They felt like in a movie. I couldn't believe that it's me sitting in the ambulance, my husband in the back there. I just turned my head sometimes to the back to see if he's alive. After weeks in the hospital, IU Health transferred Yarnin in their low-risk ambulance to a rehab facility. It was not emergency. It was just transferring from one point to B point. Then came the bills. The Washington Township Avon Fire Department charged just under $1,100 for the 13.1-mile emergency trip to the hospital, about $82 a mile. IU Health charged shy of three grand for the 8.5 mile non-emergency trip to rehab, about $345 a mile. That's more than double the price for a shorter trip that wasn't an emergency. This is too much of a gap between the prices. It turns out you can shop around for non-emergency ambulance transports. I called four Indianapolis ambulance companies that quoted me cash prices between $500 and $1,600, a lot less than IU Health's $2,900 price tag. Healthcare is expensive. It re it's truly expensive. Jonathan Hess is a medical billing advocate who helps clients navigate the financial side of healthcare. He said shopping around is a must once the dust settles. Ask the questions of why am I doing this? Are there other options? You know, if you go buy a car, right? You just don't, you just don't take the dealer's suggestion. To but make sure you confirm with your insurance company who is in network. I reached out to the fire department and IU Health to find out how each place came up with their price. The fire department told me that their price is a decade old and likely going up next year. IU Health, a nonprofit, said in part. Charges typically include a base rate and a mileage rate, plus the cost for medical equipment and personnel.